I always dreamed of being a football player. I also dreamed of working in football. There's a cute little poem from, I think it was like our, the yearbook from Wondilagong Primary School where I went to school. I must have been, yeah, grade three, I think. And it was about a girl that went on to be a commentator. <laughs> and it's funny though, I, when I reflect, it was all just this, uh, like a fantasy. As a young kid, when you're not aware of all the restrictions and limitations that might have been there once for women, I got to about the age of eight or nine and became aware that, hang on, <laughs> all my heroes are men and I, I'm going to have to stop playing football at some point. My time at Latrobe was a really enjoyable time in my life. I ended up studying midwifery, which I think came about because my mum had kids when I was a bit older, so I remember being fascinated by her pregnancy and the birth of my little brother and sister. The first time that I started to believe that women might get greater opportunities to play at an elite level was when I first started playing footy at the Darabin Falcons in the Victorian Women's Football League. I was surrounded by really strong, like-minded women who believed that women should have the same opportunities that men when it came to sport. People will say, imagine in 10 years' time where the competition will be at and what opportunities there'll be for women. If it was all there before me, as a kid, I might not have ever pursued the midwifery career that I love and uh, feel really privileged to have done as well. So. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't change anything for the world, really. The best player today, Daisy Pierce. I feel so lucky that I get to juggle the football career and the midwifery career and even the media career as well. But if there's a little girl out there that's sitting back thinking, I can do that and I can do it better than Daisy, well then I'm doing my job. <laughs> To think that there's girls and women out there that now have role models that maybe I didn't have when I was dreaming of a career in footy is something really special.